The Theological Declaration of Barman is unique in the Book of Confessions because it is not a creed or a confession. Rather than trying to set out a comprehensive statement of faith, it was purposely limited in what it said so that it could express the heart of the gospel in a particular historical situation. Barman has a wonderfully exciting story surrounding it and I'd strongly encourage you to read up on it and the drama of the confessing church in Germany in the 1930s and 1940s. But Barman is also unique in that it was specifically written to intersect theology and the real politics of a people. While the German Christians were using theology to legitimize the Nazi state and to deny that Christ extends his grace to Jews, we in our own time face similar temptations to use God to support our ideology. God's word alone has authority and its interpretation must not be guided by our ideologies. Barman makes six important points that are relevant to this day. Here are three. One, Jesus Christ, the revelation of the word of God attested to in the Holy Bible, is the sole basis for our knowledge of God. Number two, Christ is Lord of all areas of life and no one else can make us holy. And number three, Christ is the only source of unity in the church and the church belongs to him alone, not to any human powers.